Good morning, my little nerds. I am Dr. Shireen Idris, a cosmetic dermatologist based in New York City, and welcome to my office today, where hopefully we will not have any distractions by any uh, naked babies, singing babies, screaming babies, and I'm not talking about my kids, I'm talking about my husband, um, because I am in a corner where no one can surprise us from behind. So, welcome. Um, today I thought we would shift gears slightly and start talking below the neck. Not below the belt, we're not quite there yet, but at least address the body skin because I truly believe that skin care for the body is going to be the next frontier when it comes to the beauty industry and the whole skincare world. And I bet you in the next coming years, we are going to start seeing brands that we usually associate as beauty brands, brands that we think of buying at Sephora, at Ulta, at Target, to start really addressing, um, that are usually traditionally for the face, to start addressing body needs. And honestly, <clears throat> I hope the larger corporations start to lead this way because the most amount of money is usually spent on education and basically educating the consumer on what it is that is available for their needs. So it will make younger brands more willing and adventurous to start addressing those needs for you guys. So without further ado, we are going to talk about body care products with actives. And the way I'm going to break this down in this video is we're going to focus first on hydrating body care videos because I don't know about you, but I am itchy AF these days. The weather is bipolar. My legs are dry as anything. And I just wish I could lay myself in a tub of cream and not have to get dressed afterwards because I am super, super dry and super itchy. So we're going to start on hydrating body care products. And then we're going to shift into body care products with actives. So let's jump in, <clears throat> starting with one of my favorite ingredients to use on your body when you're super, super dry is colloidal oatmeal. So you've heard of people taking oatmeal baths, and I know that Avino actually has oatmeal packets that look like you're about to cook instant oatmeal, but you're supposed to put it in your bath. That is one thing you can absolutely do for yourself if you are eczema prone, super itchy, and super dry. My one advice is if you're going to soak in it, don't let the water be very hot because super hot temperatures, and that has been a sentence full of the word super is going to dry you out supremely. All right, we switched gears. Um, but colloidal oatmeal is one of those ingredients that helps to calm and inflame skin and really helps to restore its barrier and to help really give you that hydrated feel. It is also a soothing antioxidant, so that's how it calms inflammation. I have discovered this one when I became a mom. I actually never used this prior to becoming a mom. I bought this for my babies. It is the Avino Eczema Therapy, and I am to this day obsessed. My youngest one is two and a half um, because it is such a nice, rich, thick balm, and it is very hydrating. It gives your skin a quenchy dewiness um, without leaving you super tacky. I love this one. Now, when I did my chemo skincare video, a lot of patients who have had chemo wrote to me about the Avino Restorative Skin Therapy, and this one is great as well. It has panthenol as well as colloidal oatmeal in it, and this is a really, really nice one if you have an inflamed skin barrier, not just eczema, or if you're undergoing some sort of treatment that is breaking your skin down, or the winter is just insane, or if you live in Utah, which I visited a few weeks ago, and my skin was so dry. It was like a desert. It literally felt like like cracked like a desert floor. Um, but this guy is great. So those two are by Avino, and I really do like their products when it comes to oatmeal-based um, treatments. Now, another ingredient that is does not deserve the grossness that it oftentimes is associated with because people like to kind of, you know what I've learned? I've learned that on social media, people like to hype things up in a negative twist to draw attention. And urea is one of those ingredients that people have twisted um, to make more interesting. And I've heard stuff, it comes from urine, you're putting your piss on your face. Um, it's absolutely not quite true when it comes to the cosmetic products that you're using. And urea is one of those ingredients that is not only a humectant that attracts water, it is also a natural moisturizing factor element. So it helps not only your skin hold on to water, but it keeps it plump, elastic, and hydrated over time. And urea makes up 7% of the NMF, the natural moisturizing factor um, of your skin, which also includes uh, PHAs, PCAs, amino acid, and lactate. 
So amino acid 40%, PCA 12%, lactate 12%, roughly. Um, and so the other beautiful thing with urea is not only is it a humectant, it's also a keratolytic, meaning what is a keratolytic? <laughs> Try saying that super fast. It breaks down the bonds of the superficial skin cells that are dying and sloughing off. Why is that important? Because it allows them to fall off more smoothly, giving you a much more smooth base and minimizing hyperkeratotic areas like on the bottom of your feet. So a lot of people have those thicker plaques on the bottom of their feet because they stand on their feet and they form thicker plaques throughout the day, throughout time, over time. And urea can help to soften those plaques over time. Helpful for the elbows to help kind of get rid of that thickness. If you are somebody who rests your elbows on the table all day, you're gonna get thickened elbows. Um, the knees are not as big of an issue as the elbows for most people, but the, when I think of urea, I think of elbows, hands and feet, but also amazing for body, because it will give you a much buffed out, smoother base. Um, so love it. A product that I love that I actually carry now in my office for patients, especially this past winter, because I thought it was helpful for them, was Isden, and they have their Uridin 10% lotion, um, which has 10% urea and dexpanthenol. Um, I absolutely am obsessed with this guy. Not that you guys can smell it through a YouTube video, but this is the consistency. It is on the thicker end of the spectrum, but it smells like laundry. I don't know how better to explain it than that. There is fragrance to it, so if you're sensitive, all right, watch out. If you're not sensitive, enjoy the aromatherapy. I love the scent of this guy. And sometimes I'll even put it on my neck and chest, um, especially as the chest starts to get thinner as we age. You want to keep that base fresh. So I love this guy so much. Um, other interesting tip with urea, if you are somebody who is prone to ingrown hair, it's a good one to add. Uh, we're gonna get into another category that's also good to add if you get ingrown hairs. But that is one, I know Eucerin Dry Intensive, Dry Skin Intensive also has a 10% urea treatment. Um, and why is 10% an important number here? It is an important number because exfoliating actions are strongest in creams with urea at 10% or higher. Less than 10% is not gonna give you the exfoliating action. So this is one where to know the 10% is important. There used to be prescription 20% that you could get easier. It's kind of harder to get nowadays, I don't know why but that's actually very helpful if you have super thick plaques on your feet. Okay, moving on. I typed out my notes now because I am being organized. Um, niacinamide, our favorite friend from 2020. This guy is a known ingredient to help retain your lipid barrier in your skin and hold on to moisture and to minimize redness and inflammation. So if you have back knee or chest acne and you work out a lot, but you're also dry and you wanna to try to find something to moisturize with, this is an ingredient to kind of look out for, for your chest and back. In addition to another thing, which we will talk about in a second, but Nécessaire has their, uh, the body lotion multivitamin. It is fragrance free, and this one does contain niacinamide. Um, I'm not 100% sure at which percentage the niacinamide is in here, but here's another insider tip. Why are brands not as invested classically in body care products? Because it's all psychology, and it comes down to money and price. To put actives in a large container for the body is going to be very costly. And so people are not willing to spend so much money on a large container for their body because they want to spend the money on their face. And that's why traditionally brands have not put actives in body care products because it would have been too costly. No one would buy it. The brand would go bankrupt. So brands now are realizing people are invested in their bodies. And so I think it's going to be a swing in the market. But something like this for the body, I have two-sided feelings about putting percentages of ingredients, but I think it would be important to put it in a body care product so you understand what you're getting. The danger, like anything, is that brands might start competing with percentages and consumers might th start thinking that higher is better. So I, this is why I go back and forth with, is it better to disclose the percentage or not? Niacinamide is one of those things where three to 5% is the sweet spot. I think where you definitely wanna know the percentage is when it comes to um, retinol and when it comes to hydroquinone. Those are the two big ones where you really, really need to understand the percentages better. Exfoliating acids as well, but not I'm not as convinced by exfoliating acids as I am by those two. I've digressed, but I give you guys a background info on why body care products are not as available with actives. But this, I'm not sure how much niacinamide is in here, but it's worthwhile if you are dry and breaking out and you want something to calm your skin down. And it's fragrance-free. So 
Now that we're done with that tangent, let's say you're super dry and you want to seal it in. I am obsessed with this. This is Aquaphor ointment body spray. And I actually do use this after I shower because once you're showered and you're kind of moist and you put this guy all over your body, it will seal it in. You do feel tacky. So you probably need to walk around a little bit in your underwear or naked for a little minute or two just to let it dry out. But it's something that gets all the nooks and crannies of your body without you having to think about it. And it is a beautiful and easy application product. I also think this could be interesting. I don't know if I put it all over my body, although it's called All Over Body Balm. It is by Vaseline. It is a balm. I think it's cool for like, if you need it, like you're sitting at your desk and you want to sort of hydrate your little nub. Is, is, this, is it called a nubbin or is that a bad word? I don't know. Uh, English is kind of my first language, <laughs> but it, languages are not my forte. But this guy is something you could put on your elbows, knees, kind of like the little balmy parts of your body. <laughs> I made that up. And then last, body washes, um, hydrating body washes. I love this guy by Cetaphil, the Restoraderm line, because it has filagrin complexes, which are supposed to help maintain your skin barrier. Um, and then I've recently discovered Dr. Rogers Restore Body Wash. I actually got a pH test strip. This is actually a UTI uh, paper that you kind of test to see if people have UTIs. I have them in office, but if you look at this orange one, it tells you that the pH is around five to six, which is ideal. It's not gonna strip your body. If you are in a pinch, you can definitely use it on your face as well. The only thing is it's not the best cap and it does leak out. So I have, I don't have Kleenex here. Oh, here we go again. Ah, I need a Kleenex. Um, okay, so. And that is hydrating body products in 12 minutes. It's like a QVC show. Now we're gonna jump into other actives, starting with exfoliating acids, AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids. Why do we love alpha hydroxy acids? Why do we not love hydro alpha hydroxy acids? They are an ingredient that helps to naturally exfoliate, not naturally, but very well exfoli exfoliate your skin. It also has collagen boosting properties over time. My favorite age is glycolic acid. Lactic acid is great for brightening and mandelic acid is good if you have sensitive skin. Um, so starting with amlactin, 12% lactic acid. This is a great value for your bang for your buck. It's around 14 ounces and it costs $15. If you have keratosis pilaris, you can use it on the back of your arms for all of those nasty little bumps. If you have ingrown hair down there, you can also use this guy and not freak the F out. Um, so I love it. I think it is fantastic. And then KP, KP, keratosis pilaris, is called KP um, by First Aid Beauty. Brands cannot put diagnoses as names of products because then it becomes a drug claim. So it's another weird tidbit within the beauty industry, which I think really inhibits it from moving forward. So they got around this by just calling it KP because people tend to know keratosis pilaris as KP. I think I did a video last year on keratosis pilaris. Just scroll down. It's chicken skin. It's all the little rough bumpies that you get on the back of your arms and legs. If you are allergy prone, you probably have them. But this is 10% as well. So interesting, no glycolic acid. However, 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 I discovered this brand, never heard of it. They sent it to me, so I didn't buy this. Um, it's called Fittish. This and Glytone are two brands that I know have glycolic acid body products. And this is a glycolic acid body wash. Um, when it comes to cleansers and washes with actives, I'm a little bit come see, come sa. Why? Because people put it on and wash it off. They don't let the active take the time it needs to do the thing it needs to do. So if you're gonna use an active with glycolic acid, what I would strongly su suggest you do, or a body wash with an active, like I would with a cleanser, is let it sit on your face or on your body for a few minutes before you walk in. The face is much easier to do with a cleanser because you can put the cleanser on, go do a couple of things, come back. Unless you're a nudist and love walking around naked, put it all over your body, do a couple of things in your house. Please don't leave your house naked um, and then go back and jump in the shower because that's the way you're going to get the benefits of the actives. If you're just keeping this in the shower only, so maybe keep it out of the shower on your vanity. If you're keeping it on the shower, then you're going to put it on and you're just going to wash it off and it's literally washing money down the drain. But this is one fit finish. It does smell lovely. I, I like scent. I know you guys don't all love scent. 
it's annoying um, in my skincare line I'm gonna have to probably be fragrance free at first but whatever okay moving on Ren also has what they call a body serum it is a I will show you guys it's not really a traditional serum in this sense it's a moisturizer okay <laughs> it's totally a moisturizer with AHA it also has probiotics to strengthen the skin's natural barrier as well as xylitol which supposedly optimizes water flow and boosts hydration and lactic acid again I don't know the percentage of lactic acid in this guy then we have BHAs beta hydroxy acid so if you are acne prone you guys want to use this if you're very oily especially on your chest and back probably want to use this as well or if you're somebody who sweats a lot you probably want to use this as well to help minimize it but salicylic acid CeraVe has salicylic acid cleanser bars these are easy to travel with um, it also is uh, fortified with ceramides as well so it's not going to completely dry you out but like I said with the body wash maybe jump in the shower get wet put it on it's a little harder to walk out once you're kind of what you're going to make a mess at home but basically let it sit on your skin before you wash it off completely so this one is by CeraVe um it's interesting coming back to acne of the body that we talked about earlier if you're somebody who constantly gets buttony acne on your butt <laughs> or back knee acne on your back or check knee <laughs> acne on your chest um HIBA cleanse this guy is amazing it is um one of these products that people prescribe or tell patients to buy before getting surgery it's chlorexidine and you use this before getting surgery because it minimizes bacteria on your body it's not something that i usually recommend to the everyday person to do but if you have a lot of acne it's it's a very interesting product to incorporate into your routine once or twice a week just be careful not to get it in your eyes and ears because it can be toxic to your eyes and ears not toxic like your eyes and ears are going to fall off but you can get a little bit of a ringing it can affect your eyes and cause irritations etc so keep it below the neck um, and wash your hands well after using it and like always with any active body product let it sit before you wash it off um, if you are somebody who has a lot of dandruff on your face on your hair in other areas even in your groin area underneath your breast because of moist areas moist areas you want Nizoral and Nizoral is there's no such thing as fungal acne it's not a real diagnosis it's not a real diagnosis I took my boards I studied for 12 years it doesn't make me better than you but it's not a real diagnosis um, but Nizoral helps with the fungus that is living on your skin that can appear as acne but fungal acne is not a real diagnosis but if you have uh, flaky skin if you have greasy flakes on your skin that never go away and you're not necessarily dry and you have dandruff in your hair and you have flakiness and redness in your groin or in the moist pits and under your boobs this guy might really help you out and it is ketoconazole so look for that and then last retinol retinol for the body is interesting to help boost collagen especially in the decolletage area and the arms that can get crepier over time so like the folds of your body your upper knees your elbows your hands your chest even your neck and i'm excited about the retinol frontier in skincare because we need a slightly lighter version of retinol that is encapsulated that will have a slow release over time so it's not going to irritate your face if you try putting your prescription tretinoin or an over-the-counter retinol on your neck you might get really irritated um, so having it formulated for the body is very interesting burst has the retinol body lotion i just don't like that i don't know how much retinol is in here i have no idea how much retinol is in here when i look here to see it says it's pure retinol in the ingredient list r-e-t-i-n-o-l um, but i don't know how much so approach with caution but definitely an interesting one to look out for and my friends 19 minutes if I show you guys my desk, which I will show you guys my desk, but look how many products I have on my desk for all of you. It's a lot. But I am Dr. Shereen Idris, and I hope you guys have a beautiful Saturday, and let's get our bodies ready to go in the next two months for short season, swimwear season, summer season, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. Have a great Saturday.